What's up, good people? Steve Turpak, a.k.a. The Pac-Man, coming at you with this important video about sound exchange. Now, I just got off the phone with a very helpful rep from the company, and I just want to get all these ideas out because this honestly is something that I had a lot of questions about for a long time, and I've been searching over the years and asking questions, and it still was foggy in my brain, so I had to go to the source and call someone up and talk to them on the phone. And I feel like I have good clarity, and I'd like to share it with you all right now. So let's get into it. As you can see right now, I'm on the soundexchange.com website. Uh, if you're not already registered, you should go ahead and do that. The first thing I wanted to address is this login section, okay? There's actually three different options to log in. Now, if you're an artist or a producer, the only one that you care about is this SX Direct, okay? So I'm going to click on that now. Gonna log in. And this is the home page. Now, I actually have two different registrants, okay, Pac-Man Music and Pac-Man Music LLC. This is actually a mistake. They're going to delete this because it's not enrolled. We're only going to go with one account. Um, but the, the reason why I was confused about this is because I wanted to register under my business name. My business is called Pac-Man Music. So if you have an LLC, it will be a good idea to actually establish the account under your business. Inside this edit tab is where you enter all your, your general information, your tax information. This would be where you put your EIN for your business for your LLC. And then also your payment information, how you're going to get paid direct deposit. So let's go to the fun stuff. What you're going to do is go to my catalog and then go to search and claim. As you can see, this is the registrant that I've created, Pac-Man Music. And you have two different options here. You can claim as an artist or you can claim as a rights owner. Now, if you're the artist, and the rights owner, you're going to want to claim two times. You actually claim both. So if you wrote the song, if you're the artist, if, assuming I'm speaking to independence right now, if you're doing this all yourself and it's your song, you're going to want to claim 100% as the artist and then also 100% as the rights owner. Or if you wrote the song with the producer, producers typically get points on records, which means that about 10 to 15 percent would go to the producer, 85 to 90 percent would go to the artist, and that should all be determined on paper before you even start the writing process. Okay, so let's go into the artist tab and I'll show you what to do. Now, the way that Sound Exchange has this set up is review performers. The, the terminology is super important. Performer is your legal name, okay? So this is what's on your government ID. Now, my name is Steve Turpak. This is me, the performer, okay? This is I'm active. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to search for recordings. Now, this is a very powerful box. This is like the database of pretty much every song that's ever been registered in the world, period. And I should also mention that Sound Exchange only uh, pertains to the masters of the royalty. This is kind of like copyright 101, but it's a basic thing that I didn't really understand until recently. You have two types of copyright. You have the publishing and then you have the masters. Publishing splits are usually taken care of when you register on a, through a distributor site like TuneCore or DistroKid or CD Baby. They take care of the publishing. The master side of the royalties is designated through this website, Sound Exchange. And this is why this is so important. And a lot of people are just honestly leaving money on the table because they have the publishing side of the copyright fulfilled, 
but then they never bothered to claim their own masters. And yes, you actually need to claim your masters, even though they're yours, even though you have this account. Sound Exchange is not going to just somehow magically know that that song is linked to you. Like you actually need to go in and claim this. So that's what we're doing right now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for myself, Steve Turpak, as an artist. And these are all the songs. Okay, let's go to 100 per page. And these are all the songs that I've written or have versions of that I own the master recording of. And as you can see on the left here, I've claimed all these already. Okay. So once you've clicked all these boxes and you've claimed your, you've selected the songs that you want to claim, you're going to continue down and then go to organize claims. Now, under the same, let's go back a page, under this same registrant, Pac-Man Music, claiming as an artist, under my performer name, which is my government name, this is my ID, Steve Turpak, I'm also going to claim a different artist. As a DJ, my name is Pac Knight. So I'm going to claim, oops, the songs that I've released as Pac Knight. And I haven't done this yet, so you're going to actually see the process as I go through it right now. So, these are the songs that I put out through CD Baby. I'm getting publishing through CD Baby, and I want to also claim the master side as an artist through Sound Exchange. So let's go down, organize claims, and I'm going to select line up one, line up one. Line up one, line up one, line up one, and claim. So I own 100% of these songs as an artist, and my artist name, also known as a stage name in Sound Exchange, the rep explained that the artist name, stage name, however you want to say it, that's what this means. So I'm going to say Pack Night. This is true. And review claim. Artist name is Pack Knight. Go to Steve Turpak. And percentage for Pac Man Music. Submit claims. I agree. Submit. Okay, so let's go back to search and claim. I just claimed that as an artist. I also want to claim it as a rights owner going to click on Steve Turpak and once again I'm going to search for my name Steve Turpak and as you can see I have not yet claimed as a rights owner so 10,000 hours this is by Dan and Shay but a new recording which is what I made is considered the masters so Dan and Shay that has nothing to do with their publishing, even though I'm, I did a cover in this particular instance. So I'm still going to claim 100% of the rights to the new master recording that I made of this song. This is my song. These are all my rights. These are all my rights. Writing on the wall, same thing. That's a cover. But I own the master rights to the master recording. There's Steven Turpak. That's me as well. Things got a little bit confusing. This is going back years. And that's all the songs that I can see. So let's go down and I'm going to claim. Now, I've actually never seen this page, but it's pretty self explanatory. Inception means when it was created. So I guess you can go in and manually enter the date. 
but Inception is a lot easier. <laughs> you don't have to do all the research. So I'm going to say Inception for all these songs. And perpetuity simply is a fancy word that lawyers like to use. Uh, it means forever. So in perpetuity, or perhaps this really only means 70 years after the person dies. I always thought that perpetuity meant forever, but I... As a general rule for works created after January 1st, make the 78 copyright protection last for the life of the author plus an additional 70 years. So, either way, I'm just going to say in perpetuity, perpetuity for all these songs, Inception and Perpetuity. Okay, and I'm going to claim 100% of the rights because I am the rights owner of the songs that I've created. As you can see, these are some collaborations that I've did. And, man, these were recorded a very long time ago. But I want to actually give them some other percentage because at the time of the recording, no money was exchanged up front. So I'm going to say that I own 50%, 50%, and 50%. And the rep, I asked this question on the phone. I said, can I claim or designate a percentage of the masters to other people? And the answer is no. Okay, so... If you're doing collaborations with other people, you need to tell them that it's it's up to them to create an account on Sound Exchange and actually claim the percentage for themselves. So I'm actually going to hit these people up and be like, "Hey, I only claim 50%. If you want to claim the other 50%, you should go ahead and do that." Let's continue the process. And I actually did the same thing as an artist. I'm going to go back and see if I can show you. Review claims. Oh, caught one. So, this is also a collaboration. Let me go back. Gifted Fire. So, I actually own. Twenty-five percent. Shout outs to Sean Benjamin. Submit claims. I agree. Submit. Okay, so that was as Steve Turpak and Stephen Turpak, rights owner. Rights owner claim were in this section. And now I'm going to claim the rights for Pac Knight. Artist. Pack night. Okay, and as you can see, I'm selecting my songs. Claiming 100% of my rights. If you're a background musician or session player, I've actually done a lot of session work over the years. And I got excited when I learned this. Sound Exchange actually pays 5% to session players. But do not file this 5% on the Sound Exchange website. I, I spoke to the rep. She says what actually happens is when you work for a major label, you sign your union paperwork, this 5% gets allocated to funds that are handled by the AFM, which is the American Federation of Musicians, and then also the SAG-AFTRA fund. Okay, so providing that you're getting credit on the record 
or you're you're contributing. However, you're contributing as a session musician. You signed the union paperwork, which is usually a W-9 or whatever the union wants you to sign so that you're giving credit on the record, you will actually get 5% of the masters, but this 5% is allocated through AFTRA and the AFM. So in other words, you do not need to file as a session musician directly on the Sound Exchange website yourself. And those checks from AFM and AFTRA come once a year, and depending on how much work you've done, sometimes they're pretty nice. If you are one of those session musicians, you're going to want to make sure that you're signed up with the Special Payments Fund. Okay, go on over to this website. This is only for background and session musicians or background vocalists. If you've done major label work, you definitely want to make sure that you're in this database because they will pay you a check once a year. So soundrecording.org, Special Payments Fund, and then also you're going to want to make sure that you're in this database as well. And I'm not exactly sure what the difference between the AFM, SAG-AFTRA, and AFM-EPF is. I think this is more of like a, a pension fund. But probably you want to make sure that you're registered on this as well. This is AFMEPF.org. So that's pretty much it. I hope that gives more clarity and that you're actually able to go through this process and handle your business. And spread the word because I think if more musicians and composers knew about this, it would give more incentive for people to collaborate. Like, you know, sometimes you want to work with people or you have friends and you want to do stuff together, but it's like if there's really not financial incentive, like, especially if you're a full-time musician, hey, you got to pay the bills, you got to make things happen. And if you're not being compensated for it, all these kind of projects just get put on the back burner. But if you know that you can actually designate amongst a band or a group of people like, yo, let's work on this together. Or, hey, you program the drums and I work on this and you sing and you engineer and we all agree to make these things and these are the splits ahead of time. I think just it's going to be better for everyone. So finally, the music industry has evolved to do this efficiently. And it's just a matter of educating people and getting the information out there. So I have instrumentals and melodies if you're an artist or producer looking for material. So head on over to pacmanmusic.com and check them out. I hope this helps. Subscribe to the channel. Like this video if you thought it was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Peace.